In the previous step, we learned how to create a robot quadcopter in the VR. In this step, we want to learn how we can create a selection menu for our robots in the main menu to select any robots we want and play it in our level. All right. In this step, we want to create a selection menu for our uh, robots. For doing that, we have to come back to the same main menu. And in here, in the first page of Start Simulator, I want to add a simple list to Start Page. Uh, click on here, drag and uh, click right click UI and in here we have drop down perfect and I say list of robots bravo and put it in here something finally it will be like this Okay, and as you know, uh, we have only two robots, and we will say the first one is uh, UGV, and the second one is Quadcopter, and we don't have the third one, so I remove it. Okay, so the value of this list zero is UGV and one is quadcopter. As a default, I'll put the UGV of this list. So in here, uh, I need to add another parameter to the menu manager, main menu manager, to save the parameter, the value of this list. And in the level scene, level one, uh, we can load this value and instantiate that robots we have selected in the main menu. Okay, and here we in here we have main menu manager, and I press enter. I want to add another library using Unity Engine. UI perfect and in here I want to say public drop down um, drop down perfect and List of robots Okay, now only things is uh, once we press the start scene I want to say okay before that player trips dot set int equal let's to save the value of this list list of robots the name of this variable and the variable is list of robots dot value oh sorry value perfect now let's save if we click on UGV or and keep it on UGV. In here, it will be zero. If we click on quadcopter, it will be one, and go to it goes to the another scene. Okay, let's come back to the main menu. Right. In here we have a new variable in the main menu manager list of robots. Drag and drop 
list of robots drop down to here. Now it is ready to use. Perfect. Only thing is we have to go back to the level one. Okay. In here we have to create a um, level manager. So we create create empty object level manager. Great. In the scripts folder I want to create a C sharp script and call it level manager. Great. And drag and drop this level is level manager script to a level manager object. Oh. Sorry. Okay, it has been added attached to the uh, level manager object, and come back to the editor, uh, Visual Studio editor, and in here, in the first moment of app launch. It needs to get the number of uh, list of robots variable. And so we will say public int list of robots variable. Great. And in here we will say uh, public game object UGB and public game object um, quad copter. Great. Now I will say if uh, list of robots equal zero selective UGB dot selective true and quadcopter dot selective false and once we have the number equal one it is reverse. Okay, let's come back to the level. Great, we have. Uh, I need to change it to. Okay, we have level manager. Drag and drop the UGB inside of that, and drag and drop quadcopter inside of that. Control C S for saving. Now let test. In the editor, once we have the list of robots equal zero, so we have UGB and quadcopter is high. Perfect. Let's test with one. I need to change the quadcopter to one, and in here, level manager equal one. Change it. We have quadcopter. Perfect. It works well. The final part is uh, we added these variables and uh, this variable manually. But as far as we said in the past, uh, this list of robots comes from that parameter we have saved dot get end remember in the main menu once we once we want to save our parameter we will say set end and it has the name of variable and the value of this variable but once we want to load this uh, the variable we will say get end 
and in the inside of parenthesis, we will write only the name of that variable we want to load. Exactly the same name. So we copy this part and come back to the here and paste here. Great. So it will not a uh, manually variable. It will achieve the value the value of the variable from that things we have saved in the main menu. Great, it has been uh, saved. Okay, we are in the main menu and we can see this one, this list, UGV and Quadcopter. For example, we click on Quadcopter and go to the scene. Perfect, we have our dear Quadcopter. Great. Uh, demos. Perfect. Okay, right now we are in the main menu again and we select, keep selecting on the UGV. Perfect. Our dear UGV here. X Okay, we are there. Great. Let's go to the next step.